Hi, Jeremy. Hi. Good to see you again. Uh, we've got you in here for your six-month checkup for the pain and swelling assessment. Um, do you have a history of this? So we just like to check you a couple times a year. Okay. So looking back at your chart, it looks like there was some swelling last time that we found some pain in the knee joints mm -hmm. um, and a little bit in the neck. Is that still happening? Anything? Um, the neck is a little bit better, but the knees are still a thing. Okay. And any other parts um, of the body that have been bothering you lately? Joints or muscles? Um, or maybe just my shoulder a little bit. Shoulder? Which, which shoulder? My left. This one. Okay. Any major injuries, falls, accidents? No. Okay. And any changes to your activities or activity level? Not really. Okay. Excellent. So we'll dive right in. So we first just test more of like the surface level area. I'll just do some gentle um, pressing on you and then we'll go a little deeper and then we want to test uh, with some harder uh, reflex hammer work like the bones and things that could be a little bit more irritated nerves and things deeper within the body. Okay. okay. So I'm just going to apply some gloves just for the beginning here, just to make sure there's no open wounds or anything like that. But you said nothing. Yeah. Pay particular attention to the joints. We'll do some movements later. And down to the chest here. I'm just looking for any signs of injury. There's obviously nothing seeping through the clothing, no bandages anywhere. So I'm going down the legs here. And I'll do a better inspection of the legs when you're laying down as well. But I'm not feeling anything, you know, things are oozing, nothing's jumping out. Okay. Same thing, I'm just going to look with my light, so close the eyes. Okay, for any bruising, for obvious signs of swelling, drooping, things like that. Okay. So I'm going to have you just swing your legs around that way. We'll start with the upper body. Uh, head goes this way, and I'll just grab you a pillow, okay? All right, so now that I have you laying down, 
gonna be just starting out with gentle palpation. So what that's gonna feel like is me just really gently placing my hands on you like this. And if anything jumps out painful, I want you to let me know, okay? Okay. Test the back body as well. So this is left shoulder. Yeah. A little bit tender. Mm-hmm. Okay. The light touch. Any pain with finger joints? Um. It's an improvement. I know the first time we saw you, there was some. A little bit there. A little bit here? Mm -hmm. Which one? Yeah. Okay. Of that, this finger? Mm -hmm. Anything here? Mm -hmm. Okay, just this one knuckle joint on the right hand. Placing my hands on the chest, you're fine where you are. Again, just something if there's any discomfort. We're gonna focus on the upper body for now. Just getting underneath here. Any pain in the shoulder? Uh, the inner t inner side of the shoulder, or is it just more like this joint? Uh, more just like up on the top. Okay. okay. So we do have a couple of spots there we want to watch. Uh, the next thing is going to be a little bit harder. We'll do an interim here. Um, it's going to be more of like a tap like that. Is that too intense? No. Okay. Again, just tell me if anything hurts. I'll try and be sensitive around these couple of areas we've already found out have some um, pain, so. more painful, about the same? Mm -hmm. About the same. Okay, good. No electricity or anything like that shooting out? No. Okay, go ahead and relax. the same.
Next is going to be a tighter squeeze. So we're um, just going to increase the pressure a little bit, uh, but it's not going to be a banging pressure anymore. It's going to just be a little bit more physical pressure, okay? Okay. Pressure on the head with that? Um, no. Beyond just the, okay. Little pressure is normal because mm -hmm. I'm pressing on your head. Mm -hmm. What we're testing for here is the deeper muscular tissue. I'm not going to press too hard on that finger, but that's all okay on this hand. It is, yeah. Good, very good. Okay, moving up to the shoulder. How does that feel? Does it feel good yeah, or mm, bad? Bad. A little bad, yeah. Okay. So that tells us. It's probably something that is swollen or out of alignment or something like that because if it was just a sore muscle, like let's say you were lifting weights, like that might actually feel more like massage to be pressed deeper. It might mm -hmm. feel like that good pain, but you're saying it feels kind of a bad pain. Yeah. Okay. All right, just a couple more spots here. The last test is my reflex hammer. It's going to have more weight behind it. So you see that it's a little harder, that that um, pressure in that exact spot. So tell me if there's any nerve pain, tingling, numbness when I do this. And I'll just do um, just this one spot on the head. Anything come down? No. Okay, everything else on the head, I don't want to hit too hard. go too hard on this shoulder, but any nerve pain? No, no nerve pain, no. Good. Hips. Okay. Nothing else that jumped out at you with that harder stimuli. Perfect, no. perfect. perfect. So overall, Jeremy, I actually think you're doing a lot better as far as pain management goes. Seems like it anyway. Does that feel accurate? Um, I think so, yeah. Okay, good. Uh, I want to take some measurements. I want to just track any swelling or changes in the body. Um, sometimes things can be swollen and they don't hurt, but we still need to know that there's something going on underneath. So again, just uh, relax. If you don't mind putting um, just this arm out by the side, you can keep that one on your chest for now. I get this shoulder in a couple of spots. Okay, just as relaxed as possible. Unactivated muscle. The elbows. And just Nice relaxed hand. Thank you. Okay, now as wide as you can go. Let's get the foot.
full extension. Perfect. Relax. And do the same thing on the other side. Just going to get underneath the arm. The two spots. Here. And that same thing with the fingers, totally relaxed. First, there you go. And then nice and uh, wide, as wide as you can go. Thank you. Okay. okay. Right, I'm gonna make some movements before we move down to your lower body. Just completely go loose. I wanna make the movements for you. Any pain when we come out like this on that shoulder? Uh, not really. Okay. What about up like that? Maybe just a little. A little more? Okay. The elbow. Looking for the tone. Rigidity. So it feels better than the other side. Mm -hmm. And no pain up like that. No. Great. Excellent. Relax, relax. Thank you. Not hearing any popping or clicking there. A little bit of clicking in the wrist. I'm going to skip this one. Let me just see you bend that one on your own. Okay, it's a little bit of a trigger finger then. Can't quite bend it. So let me see this one. Bend this one? Yeah, so you can go all the way there and this one again. Not quite, so it's definitely swollen. Let me get that one knuckle measurement. Okay. Alright, Jeremy, for the sake of ease, I'm just going to have you um, swing your legs around here and lay the opposite way with your legs this way so I can have them closer to my table, okay? Okay. Okay, wonderful. So again, I'm just going to look a little closer now that I have you laying down, if you don't mind. So you said the knee is a bit swollen. Is it both knees, left knee? Um, both. Both knees. I can feel the swelling. Oh yeah, this left side is actually worse though, a little bit. So same thing, I'm going to start out with just real gentle touch, especially around these joints, and just tell me if there's any pain or tenderness. Does it hurt when I press here? Uh, not really. Oh good, okay. A little bit in the feet, okay. How about on the side? Yeah, just a little. Just feel the hips. Any pain in the hips? Mm -hmm, no. Good. All right. So again, next thing is just a gentle tap. You tell me if there's any pain. Anything, any sciatica down the leg here? No. Good. Do you ever get it? I'm not kidding. Okay. Okay.
A little silk sword is okay. On that side too? It's a little better on the left side. Scale from 1 to 10, 1 being no pain, 10 being excruciating, where would you rate that? Um, like a 1. Okay, so it's very mild, it's just more, yeah. a little discomfort. Yeah. Okay. Moving up the leg now. Everything else is okay. Good. Again, our last. Uh, again, our last uh, pressing. So it's going to be quite firm now. Just tell me, especially in the knees here. I'm curious. If that deeper pressure causes any discomfort, or if it causes any comfort, does it feel good? Uh, it feels fine. Okay, it feels fine. Yeah. Not any more painful, but deeper? Or does it feel better? It feels better. Feels better? Okay. Right here? Okay. So that was that left knee that does feel more swollen than the right side. And the pressure feels good on the feet. Last one here. Yeah, slight. slight discomfort. Yeah. Okay, so the pressure felt good, but this sort of tapping feels bad. Mm -hmm. Be a bone issue then, like an arthritic yeah, type thing. Side. Same thing. Okay, I'll move on. Anything in the ankle? Mm, not really. Good. About that knee. Yes. Yeah, like this cover. Okay. And the hips have been fine all along, so. I'm going to do that same measuring again, just down here on the lower body. Just going to get all the joints. So the right foot is a little bit more swollen than the left. I get the knees here. I'm gonna get underneath the peak and up up. Just gently lift this for me. That's fine. Yeah, 
So we've got about two centimeters actually of swelling on that left knee comparatively, which is quite a bit. Okay, so Jeremy, go ahead and swing your legs around and sit up. Let's talk about our findings and what we'd like to do with them, okay? Sounds good. All right, Jeremy, so I've got all the results from today's um, pain assessment. Looks like overall you're doing better, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, I still want you doing some exercises for those knees to break up the swelling, and maybe we'll have you come in and do a little bit of a knee massage. Um, we can do some scraping on it as well to sort of break up some of that scar tissue. As far as the shoulder goes, I am going to say rest and ice that. That to me seems like an injury that might pass over time since it's new, right? Relatively. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see you again in six months. See where your progress is. And if that shoulder's still bothering you, we'll do some additional tests. Okay. At okay. that point. Yeah. Any questions for me today? No, I don't think so. All right. Well, I'm glad you're feeling a little bit better and we'll just keep up with your care. Thank you so much. Thank you.